and the rear wings had passed our own checks early in the day, but there is only one measurement that matters and we fully accept the FIA ruling, so they're not going to protest it. There's going to be no chance of that. They accept that they basically had a technical infringement. So essentially, the DRS slot gap, that is the area of the rear wing that opens up when you are opening it up to try and overtake. Obviously, this was in qualifying. They're not trying to overtake. They're just trying to be as quick as possible in the DRS zones. The bigger the area that opens up on the rear wing the more air is effectively allowed to pass through the more drag is reduced and therefore the faster you can go so like everything with formula one cars these days this is actually regulated by the fia you are only allowed to open your rear wing slot gap over a certain distance it cannot go above that distance that is the 85 millimeters that they are referring to so effectively if you go over that you get an advantage over the competition now interestingly it doesn't actually say anywhere what the distance was it could literally be 85.1 or it could be 86 or something like that it could be an absolutely minuscule amount when it comes to that now the actual advantage that Williams will get from this if it's only say a millimeter or a fraction of a millimeter is extremely marginal but at the end of the day you have to draw a line in the sand everybody else plays by the same rules Williams fully accept the decision so it's kind of move on from there it's more an internal issue now for Williams as to how this actually happened like they said when they did their own scrutineering because every single team is constantly scrutineering themselves to make sure they do not fall foul of the regulations that is part of what free practice is for at the end of the day to make sure the car holds up and that it's all legal and everything going into qualifying on saturday but unfortunately for them, they've made some sort of mistake here. Only Williams can really answer why this happened, to be honest with you. And I'm sure they're probably scratching the heads trying to figure that out themselves. But the important thing is for Sainz and Albon is that they have to start at the back of the grid tomorrow and probably actually start from the pit lane at one of the most physically demanding races on the calendar. The most physically demanding race on the calendar, I should say. And also a track that is very hard to overtake around. So... It's going to be a long old Sunday night for these two drivers in Singapore. But yeah... There you go, guys. Williams, disqualified from qualifying. You might think it's harsh, but at the end of the day, rules are rules, and unfortunately, they broke them. They didn't do it deliberately, but they broke them. It happens. Like, share, comment, subscribe, guys, if you want to see more of this. And, of course, let me know who you think is going to win the Grand Prix tomorrow. Probably not one of the Williams, unfortunately, going off of today's results.